Shalom. First and foremost, give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh. Mahashim Yahweh Shai. Mahashim Rekaha Kodashi. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS, and rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful leg. This is GMS. Stop and listen, Brother Preacher Cal. Uh, just looking at RT News. You know we are we are uh, uh, we are ambassadors for the word. We're we're news watchmen. Hey, we're watchmen. We watch for the news. We're news reporters for the truth, man. For you, how about you, how shy? You know, and I was looking at RT. It says the U.S. sends more stealth fighters to Persian Gulf as Iran tensions simmer. And right now, I'm in in uh, I'm in Missouri. I'm not too far from where the stealth bombers are being sent from, because I think a uh, a, a year ago they had Trump came to visit to check on these uh, stealth bombers. When I came here, I was with the brothers in Kansas City Fellowship, and like uh, they had the Trump had came here unannounced, so he was coming checking on his his swords, man. Then, you know, preparing them then, see if they were ready for this particular time now. Because it says U.S. sends more stealth fighters to Persian Gulf as Iran Iran tensions simmer, right? So you know when you when you have a pot on the stove when it's simmering, there is heat there, but it's not at a full boil. It's it's it's, it's culminating to like to get to a full boil. It's warm, and that's what this 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 tension of this war is simmering. The heat is there, man. So it's getting ready to boil over, right? And it's getting ready to be at that point of boiling, right? You stick anything and once something boils at 212, you put it in there, it's gonna be death, man. You know? And it's getting ready to be at that boiling point of 212, the World War Three, which is gonna accumulate to death, man. Death of, 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 the, of the nation of these Edomites in America, man. And your kingdom is going to be uh, uh, knocked down. All America is getting ready to be destroyed by thermal looking destruction when it's when it's simmering gets to a boil. And it says the U.S. Air Force has deployed a contingent of F-22 stealth fighters to the air base in Qatar, Qatar, to defend American forces and interests in the region as tensions with Iran maintain high. It tells you to have a cook, man. They never, they never stay at home, man. You know, they always been in everybody else's business because uh, uh, America wants to be the uh, superpower of the world. You know, guided by you proud Edomites, man. But you don't know the counsel of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord will stand, man. And the counsel of the Lord is for you to go into World War Three, to put it on your mind to go into World War Three, to bring your own destruction. It says the U.S. Central Command confirmed the deployment of the jets to Qatar's Al Al uh, Al Udai Air Base on Friday, posting photos of some of the planes arriving in the desert base this week. Right, so they're getting ready, man. This is we read Joel the third chapter, man. Proclaim ye to the Gentiles, man. Wake up the mighty men. Prepare for war. You know. You see, you see the A hey, man. They've already, they've already hit the war rooms, man. They talked it over. Esau always uh, try to make plans. They have to make plans on how they're gonna execute. You know how they're gonna manage and execute. Uh, it says the deployment comes after President Trump threatened Iran with an overwhelming force and obliteration, obliteration, following Iran's show, uh, Iran's downing of a U.S. Navy drone a week ago. The Trump administration also sanctioned Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini. A move to, uh, to a move to Iran said closed off the possibility of negotiation, and which President Hassan Rouhani called mental retarded. Called mental men, mentally retarded. So, hey man, they're getting ready to fight, and, and the Lord is putting the spirit on them man he's putting that spirit on them man to, to, to prepare for this war let's go to uh ezekiel in the scriptures ezekiel 38 and 10 thus said the lord yahweh by shimmy i was shy 
it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought and that's what the Lord is doing the Lord is controlling all this man you know he's controlling from the from the from the from the right hand and he has the left hand side working for him Esau is on that left hand side he has them working against each other to to bring forth his his counsel man his plan to destroy America man and this is our salvation man but you have our people they're not ready for this man please don't go to war but no war is the way to your salvation you know this is the way to your salvation this is how you get out of this captivity that you're in in America and it's gonna be through war this is Micah 2 and Micah 2 and one it says woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in their power it is in the power of their hands so esau sent back the scripture saying they sit back at night when they when they when they in their beds they think and they scheme and the lord puts these uh, uh thoughts in their head on how they're gonna do mischief man how they're gonna manage this mischief and practice it and execute this execute the, uh, uh, the, the execute this uh, mischief to bring forth to take effect to bring forth death man you know Esau always trying to prove a point of his power but his power was a sword you know his power was a sword man so he has that sword and he's gonna basically the Lord gonna put the spirit on he's gonna basically uh, uh, die by the same sword man that the power was given unto him it's going to be his, his, his death, man. It's going to be his death. It says, when because it is in their power in their hands. So when Esau actually comes to the table, you know, the think tanks they have, you know, uh, when he comes to the to the, the uh, meetings that they have, the crafty councils are spoken of in Psalms 83. When they come to those crafty council meetings, they talk about how they're going to uh, bring forth destruction. And mainly it's, it's against the nation of Israel, man. So Esau tried to control everything, man. He's trying to have everybody under under his uh, spell and under his hand, man, under his power. One more, Proverbs. It's Proverbs 21, I think 10. It says, Proverbs 21 and 10. It says the soul of the wicked devises evil. And that's Esau, man. Esau was, when you read Malachi, the first chapter, it tells you he's a border of wickedness, man. So his soul desired evil, man. Let's look up the word desired. Desire, incline, covet, wait, you longing, you wish, you sigh, you want to, greedy, prefer. So you, hey, you long for to be uh, uh, evil, man. You long in the seed of the destruction of Israel, man. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. Along with whoever you can take down in the midst of it, man. It says that the soul of the wicked, which is Esau, desired evil. His neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes, man. Hey, your neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes, man. Hey, them Ishmaelites, man, they don't like you. Ishmael know you the devil, man the white devil they don't even like you man you know so hey the lord is putting the spirit putting that putting that uh spirit out there he's putting it on your minds when you read in Job the 33rd chapter right he's putting it out there he's putting it in your minds to to uh come to war man go back to this rt article He's putting it in your minds to bring your bring your all your all your uh your war equipment to the Middle East, man. The Valley of Decision, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Harma got one, which speaks in Revelation 16. The Lord is putting that spirit on you. You can see the moves are being made. Now they're deploying all their equipment, man. Next they're gonna start deploying troops, man. And then next they're gonna be drafting troops, man. You know, which is gonna, which is gonna uh, uh, bring uh, death to America, man. Which we 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 are longing, we desire to see this. The men of the Lord, man. Lord willing, we those men. We desire to see 
the uh, the the downfall of our enemies, man. As the scriptures say, you know. So, hey, with that, hope this short lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be to the heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Say Shalom.